totally imputed. That is what we are doing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> we're totally imputed and we're going live right now. Yeah. Kyle, oh, I sent you a novel. Oh, is, oh, oh, sh- oh, dang it. Why did you do that just before <laughs> we started playing? <laughs> hey, everybody, you welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Tonight is the cred campaign. Cthulhu Rises. Everyone dies. We have all your favorite players or none of them. Honestly, I don't know your <laughs> opinions. And while I personally care deeply, deeply about making sure each and every one of you is satisfied and only the ways that I know how. The rest of these yahoos couldn't actually care less. So before we get started to just go through the rigmarole here, um, I haven't done the rigmarole in a while. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to actually join in on the show, you can hit us up, not this week, but following next week when we do our one shots, you hit us up at mhoboinc at uh, gmail.com or on Twitter. Just say, hey, I'd like a seat. I'd like to play. I want to play with that guy. Uh, uh, and then realize that that guy doesn't actually play at any of the other games or events or anything like that. He's strictly just for this one thing here. Uh, uh, sucks to be you, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, if you want to uh, not look at our faces, but still listen to this amazing podcast where all our voices jump up like 15 decimals in pitch, you can hear us over at Podbean at Murder Hobo Inc. Podcast. And... If you want to buy some cool merchandise, uh, tentacle or tentacle-less, um, I don't know why you choose the latter, you can go to the link below here in the Twitch stream. I am actually ashamed of myself. I've got a cred shirt. I've got a cred sweatshirt. I now have a cred zip-up hoodie. I have a cred jock strap, uh, <laughs> which is weird because now the tentacles join the hair <coughs> that escapes on the sides, and it looks absolutely uh, uh delightful oh my god what the hell it just adds Kyle, i don't know why you don't think like cthulhu with hair what i mean no that guy's no, got a just, oh, god, right uh, i need on the bottom end you can kind of see that octopus like head uh <laughs> but why don't that you means go we get it to the sponsors why don't we just why don't you just get it tattooed there you know uh, because uh, my body is pure <laughs> and is a temple for God. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every, every unholy, Sunday. evil, nasty God, <laughs> Satan. <laughs> All right, but that leads us to our wonderful sponsors. We'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice uh, uh, and tell you you should go check them out for making rolls that roll really well or really terrible uh-huh. <laughs> um they kind of do that all over the place it's like they're randomly generated rolling devices i don't know but you can get them in all sorts of cool shapes and sizes i have my dog poop dice <laughs> not here in front of me because whenever i roll good on it it smells like dog poop and that's not a good thing that's <laughs> that's a bad thing <laughs> Uh, speaking of smells, uh, that brings us over to Oddfish Games and their Adventure Scents. Uh, do you want your game to smell like a library, a tavern, or currently what my house smells like ever since the sewers backed up into my bathroom? Uh, uh, sewers. It smells horrendous here. I, I, I haven't done anything but smell putrid sewers for the past Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, they also have wonderful things like the Shine Project or How to RPG with Your Cat. Uh, Shine Project, if you are writing a story, but you're kind of coming up on a dead end, or maybe, you know, it just needs that little oomph. The Shine Project is an interesting way to kind of help you answer questions that you did not ask yourself. And How to RPG with Your Cat? Come on. It's too dangerous to go outside these days. There's riots. There's covid there's flovid fluvid what florana i don't know that's when you get (sighs) flu and covid you could also get the cold this year which i know for a fact will knock you on your butt for at least 14 weeks so how to rpg with a cat order it online no contact delivery get it there play with your cat they roll dice they play with catnip you have a fun entertaining adventure 
uh, as they eventually claw your legs off because you're around them too much because you can't have contact with real people. And finally, uh, they are coming out with a new project, uh, very similar to the Shine project, however, pointed at game masters and their games that will be on Kickstarter uh, coming up sometime in the near future. Keep an eye out for it. It's something you want to be a part of. And last and most certainly least, we have the convention of Murder HoboCon. I was going to yeah. say the Cred the Credvention, but it doesn't have any cred whatsoever. It's all Murder Hobo Inc. But really, all Murder Hobo Inc. is this show, right? It's that's all it really is. I, I don't. We don't do anything else, right? Right. Uh, pretty much, it's just cred, right? Uh, yeah. You just just cred. It's yeah, cred's the cred, one that cred. matters. Cred's the one that matters. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, uh uh Do we have fifteen events or fifteen events filled? If I we was, recall, he said he posted fifteen events. No, oh, that's not good. All right, 15 yeah. events are posted. <laughs> Hop on those immediately as quick as you can. Oh, that, did you remember when, when badges are going on sale? Because you probably can't buy events until you buy badges. You can't badge. buy events until you get badges, Carol. Right. Gosh, have you never been to a convention in your life? You have <laughs> to wait until Monday to buy your badge and then sign up for all 15 events at Murder HoboCon which is February 12th and 13th this year. Uh, uh, just the one place you want to get all that hateful, evil spitefulness out of you before you go out with your significant other <coughs> on Valentine's Day. Murder HoboCon is the place to do it. Ugh. Okay, let's go around. Let's introduce players, uh, uh, starting with my least favorite person here, myself. Hi, I'm Kyle. I am the DM. <laughs> They thought I was going to say Carol. They were wrong. I thought I would thought I thought he was going to say Carol because I'm mm -hmm. the freaking peanut gallery for his announcements. Exactly. And then we introduce Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? And uh, uh, what was your uh, New Year's resolution? I don't make them. So you're a monster. <laughs> who are you? And who do you play? Who am I? Well, he just said I'm Carol. Hi everyone, my name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter who has their own Twitch. Uh, what the hell is it called? Beasts underscore touch, where I paint minis and talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, let's see, who am I playing? What do I do around here? Uh, I do less, uh, less as often, but I do peer on between the roles. I do do the one shots when there's a, when I'm free and there's a available seat and i am in this campaign angie yeager my my what the hell am i half elf <laughs> yes i'm a half elf ranger someone's been hitting the drinks is, tonight <laughs> no uh same drink as i always have coca-cola there you go hey they should okay. sponsor us you know uh and uh who is um definitely uh probably is well on her way to the loony bin with two insanities <laughs> <sighs> all right following up in the insanity chart let's go down to dj dj introduce yourself and what's wrong with your character and your new year's <laughs> revolution no new year's resolution yes those never actually happen uh, that's true <coughs> i give a to anybody who actually achieves theirs i do mine is to run a bitchin game and I still have 50 more weeks to do so, so that's good. Um, I play Bran, the monk way of the mercy. And I'm having issues. We've both been Fools having a really bad cultist. Oh my. And uh, Bran's a little upset lately. Just a, <laughs> just a little. He's, on the He's also having some the other skin condition issues, but we'll <laughs> deal with that later. And you saw him go, you can see in the dark. I don't know what you're talking about. I picked up on it. I don't think anyone else did, but I picked up on it. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. And next, introducing Jacob. I'm not going to ask for your 
New Year's resolution because despite the fact that you're the one who made it this year, no one else wants to talk about theirs. Be honest, I don't That's make terrible. them. So, Jacob, introduce yourself <laughs> and your character. Go. Yeah, my name is Jacob. I'm the new guy around here. Um, I'm playing Merrick Bismuth, a halfling rogue who's having all kinds of fun here on as a cartographer getting to explore all kinds of new areas and see new things and a lot of new things that I definitely did not expect to see. And uh, if I recall, I think we're getting ready to meet a new friend. Yeah! So. New friends! Friendliness, that's the New Year's thing, man. And finally, take a toothpick, stick it on him. He is done. Ernie, Ernie, why don't you introduce yourself and tell everybody what you're up to in this here campaign. Oh, yeah. So uh, my name's Ernest, and I'm playing uh, Riley, the half-elf warlock. And uh, let's see, Riley's just trying not to die like normal. Uh, we're actually experiencing some combat, so I'm pretty happy about that. But we'll see what happens now. Now there's this new thing for uh, Riley to investigate. You know, it hasn't escaped me that Riley's the one that actually wants to be insane, or probably already is. I'm and just a curious he, soul. And yet he makes every friggin' will save. <laughs> and we're the ones it. that don't. It's, it's, it's and like... this is what it is. He somehow accepts it. I, you know, and then me and Bran, we can't friggin' make a will save to save our friggin' lives. So. Because you're fighting it. <coughs> just accept it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh my god that's what i need to do i mean it's it's cthulhu what else are you supposed to do lean into it i would i mean it's not ah <sighs> uh, thank you guys for stalling as i get my final notes in <laughs> did place. you read that novel <laughs> it told oh, it told me stuff i didn't need to know that i already knew that happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was just reminding you that <laughs> Brand started everything. They oh, were yeah, just no, innocent aware, people. <laughs> Brand, it's all, innocent people. So this is yeah, all Brand in brown garb. So they were probably priests <laughs> or mm. something. Terrible, terrible folks. Terrible, terrible. They were holy men that you mm. murdered. <laughs> Ooh. I, I, that's religion. They were isn't definitely it? holy after they got done with them. Oh, All right. So you even blinded him. <laughs> you just jabbed his eyes out. <laughs> that was so horrible. That wasn't very merciful. By the way, you're awesome. Wait, mercy mercy? Comes in, wait, in wait. many different fashions. This is the wait. We're spending this whole episode blaming Bran for things. While we're at it, you're the reason why I have two insanities, fucker. Bran. Yeah. Yes, well, he's I guess all I can say is he suck was it up. responsible for the second one. Make your saves. And you, th and you think Riley gets you guys in trouble. <laughs> like, well, come you on. Did. You did. All, all I tried to do was steer the ship and, <laughs> you know, steer the ship and make play potato with, soup and play just with try to help the entire group. Play with a tablet that somebody else was actually using. Yeah, but that that was that was on me. <laughs> I, you guys were hidden out of the room. I didn't think <clears> anything <throat> bad was going to happen. Yeah, but you were on the other side of the room. I was just I was engaging him directly. I thought any harm that was going to come was going to only hit me. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to let I... you have all the fun. All right. We should Somehow probably actually... I came out unhit in the entire battle. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin... Ah, I think it was all fine, guys. All fine. Session 23, I think, is where oh we're at. Oh, my God. Yep. We... Kyle, you wow. caught up? You ready? You prepared yet? Nope, not at all. <laughs> How much more stalling do you need? Uh, I need to rebuild a bathroom, dig through all the books <laughs> where I threw all my papers and notes at before. Come I on, Kyle. Water to, I didn't want poop water to cover them. All right, let, let me get Ooh. it kicked off. Everyone, roll know. initiative. Yeah! <laughs> okay, all right. So last year when we were playing here, uh, you guys had snuck into the temple of Fetnathoa uh, where you had begun exploring the first room you find you found uh, a bunch of dried desiccated bodies uh, stacked like timber like firewood uh, with tags on their toes with names, dates 
and how they died. Among those, you also found some goodies here or there. You found a pearl of power. You found uh, the mirror blades, a pair of short swords that allow one person to see through one blade and then see through the other. Uh, that's not a very well description of how I found it. Um, somehow, I think some of the players became somewhat emotional at the <laughs> disregard for these <coughs> things the you corpses think? they're just corpses i mean they're not actual people anymore at that they're point, objects right? yeah they're, they're objects. objects they consider objects yeah yeah and they were stacked as such uh so what we determined i it. don't think that's a quite accurate read no <laughs> you are in the temple of fetnathoa who is known to uh mummify people just by looking at them and um <laughs> Gosh, what is it? Uh, uh, and you continue kind of exploring through this newly made temple. Uh, but as you continue exploring, you are finding signs of, as well as newly painted murals of the ghouls of this island. You're finding them amongst older uh, sections of this temple. And it does appear like this temple has been built upon another if not another temple, another stronghold here. So this is not just a, a, a singular building. Continuing to explore though, you come across four friendly human uh, NPCs who are just having a game of cards, relaxing <laughs> a little bit with their friends. You know, maybe some disagreements among them about someone cheating at cards but did that demand their death at that point? Bran did, uh, and so he then murdered all of them. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay. Except for the one, but he pretty much helped murder that one too. So, I mean, at that point, what you gonna do? And they just valiantly tried to defend themselves to the last man. Continuing on from there, you proceeded into... Uh, some jail cells which are clearly from this older building this older stronghold that was here and in doing so you managed to find a way in where you heard chains shaking rats squeaking and you enter into a jail cell across the far wall where this humongous mountain of a thing with quills, claws, spikes protruding from it every which way. You see furrows on the ground and it is chained to the wall, to the cracked wall in these rusty chains. And Bran, you know, ever looking to murder something else innocent, <laughs> has walked around it. And atop this hulking form is this tiny itty bitty shrunken head the eyes stitched shut the mouth stitched shut ears folded over and again stitched shut and it turns this head and this kind of purple glow suffuses its eyes as it looks at Bran helplessly and with that effort the glow falls out of its eyes and the head swings back down looking at the ground. Uh, for those who actually want to see the creature, if you go to the Twitter at uh, TRB Repairmen on Twitter, you can see a post where this monster is uh, currently looking. And with that, what do you guys do? I'm basically waiting to see how this all plays out. I um, want to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to see how all this plays out. I don't want to touch it. I would actually like to look around the room a bit to see what else is in here. Okay, you look away, Mr. Observant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Bran first. 
Bran, uh, you see holes in the corners of the walls where it looks like rats have kind of burrowed in and you can see where they've just kind of left their crap in there and it's been such a long time. Do you guys have uh, light in this room or are we keeping it dark? I don't remember. What have we I said will, to do? If I'm, if I'm looking around, I will turn on my light. Okay. You look at dark blood stains on the wall. Um, being familiar with blood as you are with kind of the body and healing process, you have seen marks of what old blood looks like. Uh, and the walls in certain areas are just coated with it as if something was thrown against the wall with such force that blood splattered. The room is putrid yet dry. The stones where these chains are wrapped around this creature are cracked and broken. Not necessarily loose where they will just fall out, but when this creature moved a little bit, you could see where these bars, the, the, the hooks that actually hold the chains on the wall are actually moving a little bit. And these chains are very rusted. Um, all right, Riley. Well, thanks for describing this? the chains before I said, <laughs> oh, hey, I'm going to go poke, poke this thing. Sure. Uh, what are, how are you poking this? Like, Did I notice the chains and such before I went up and poked it? Uh, what's your passive investigation? I don't know. Uh, 12? Uh, 15. <laughs> 15. 15 is good. 15, 15 is good. Um, you will... You'll have noticed that the walls are, are a little bit crumbly around those chains and the hooks. <laughs> but by all He's gonna fly a free it. I'm I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna walk up and, and poke it's, it. Its arms are literally splayed out. It is hanging a little bit, its knees are just above the floor itself. Oh, jeez. So wait, it's actually like being suspended? Partially, yes. Oh, jeez. It does have these knee spikes, which are kind of pushed into the ground a little bit. I'm like, I have two thoughts. One, who the heck could have done something this horrible to be punished this way if this is actually a person? And not a construct. Oh, wait a minute. There was something I was going to do. I was going to do... Uh, oh, primal what? awareness. Yeah, I was going to do primal aware, uh, primeval awareness, actually. Sorry, primeval. Which is... Like I, the show. Let's see. Just, okay, so I'm expending a spell slot, one minute per level of spell slot. Okay, yeah. So I'll also be doing for one minute since I'm just trying to get a quick sense. Sense whether any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, baked beans, or undead are present. I'm trying to figure out if this guy is undead or what. Uh, one more time, a little bit slower. And are you searching? Sorry. Is it, do you search for a specific no. one of those or you get to know all of those? Uh, I get to know any. Okay. So as an action, you can... Basically. Basically, it's it, a radar. Yeah, basically, it's a yeah, it's a radar for aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead are present within one mile of you, or within six miles if you are in your favorite, which I'm not. Ooh. It doesn't re <laughs> doesn't reveal. It does not reveal location or number. It just reveals that there are these types in the area. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's true. It won't actually help me figure out if this guy is undead. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you should roll a D100. Oh, boy! I that you had asked about this, and, uh... Sort of. I mean, Ooh, it was sure. the... Hey, and Kyle, before you, you resolve any actions, can you... Did you read my message? I did read the message. Cool. Mm-hmm. 26. 26. Yep. Yeah, okay. Good for Cthulhu. I'm sorry, one more time. Do I specify that you find undead or do I specify that one of those things is in the mileage? Uh, you just specify that I find undead or aberrations or celestials, dragons, elementals, bay fiends. You detect aberration. No undead. No undead. None of the other things. <sighs> All right, so I will mention that this is not undead because I'm not detecting any undead in the area. Mm-hmm. But there are aberrations. Riley, as you go up to touch it, how are you doing so? This uh, is me a picture. As well, these flies are just kind of flying around you. So and you're just I. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, Whoa, like <laughs> I was amazed by the glowing eyes, obviously, and the shrunken head. That's like the most amazing thing that I've noticed so far. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm gonna go up and immediately uh I don't know, probably probably touch the top of its head. You're gonna hate me for this. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Uh how much dread do you have? Uh oh I'm... no, <laughs> he wants it though. Why would he hate it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> dread. I don't I really don't know. Um <laughs> I don't think I... I think we're <laughs> at three maybe. acting on two, maybe, or two no, acting on one. Probably two acting on one, if anything. Yep. All right. <laughs> As you make contact with this, the feeling of horror of this slimy something over your shoulder, something hanging over your head is pulled out of your body. You lose one level of dread. (laughs) And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. He loses? He loses. And you see this kind of purple slimy vapor itself just Constitution throw? Safe? Uh, 12. 12. Okay. You are fine. You watch as this kind of leaks out from between your fingertips. It's close to the body. And as you kind of touch its head, you watch as it kind of crawls into the stitches of this shrunken head. And these eyes begin to lightly glow once more. But the effort of doing this, whatever it is, it's not right. It's, you feel like you should feel better, but it's so blasphemously grimy in the way that it does so, you gain a level of exhaustion. Welcome to my world. Uh, okay. The creature starts to shift in little ways, twitches. Oh, cool. Did, mm-hmm. Oh, we made checks to see if we could have figured out what it was, right? Last time? You did not. We didn't. Nope. Uh, Bran thinks it's an undead nightmare that you should kill, kill, kill. It's not undead. I verified that. Uh, What kind of a check is that? Since I got time. Since you've got time? Yeah. You can make um, and anyone else here, if they like, they can make an arcana check. 
Oh yeah, please, someone else do this. Because I'm not good at this. But not me, not me. Anyone but me. That's a ten for me. I have no idea what this is. No jack shit. <laughs> Kyle, I will say some of those flies actually disappear into the folds of its eyes. Gross. Oh. But no, not that you can tell. Did anyone else make an Arcana check? Yeah, I'll make an Arcana check now. I'm sure that's... you're good at it. Am I? I'm, it's intelligence. You're not, you, you don't, you didn't <laughs> I'm a, I'm a warlock. <gasps> make a yog sothery yeah. check. Too. Oh, wait a minute. Well, that would make a difference. Well, you know, you can find out I the would've... basics first. I rolled a 25. Back. Does that mean this or is a separate Arcana. check? Arcana. <laughs> Arcana? <laughs> yeah, this is a construct. Okay, cool, because I only get a plus game. six on intelligence. Okay, yeah, Arcana, no, never mind. On Arcana. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. <laughs> my, my, little, my little Google boy responded. Is that what that... <laughs> <laughs> so, it is a construct. Uh, yes, this is a construct. It's stitched bring... together. Um... It's not an aberration. Looking at it, though, if you kind of, again, start to peer at it more, golems tend to have, like, um, <coughs> some touch of arcane that actually uh, activates them. Um, if you remember Mosetta, uh, the yeah. golem aboard the Hazel's Folly, um, uh, it had some sort of arcane markings on it that uh would you leave you to believe that uh well, to activate it you can kind of search this creature with that and you see no signs of uh magic that actually appears to animate this thing or control it uh detect magic please you detect no magic um, Baron would like to start examining it. <clears throat> okay. I dare you to touch it. <laughs> Riley does say that. It? First, visually, uh, I want to see if there's any, well, this little sign kind of funny, but abnormalities on it that stick out even more so than normal. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yep, yep. So you're vaguely oh looking God. at it, right? <laughs> hey, okay, okay. Let, me rephrase, let, me, let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. Anything that doesn't appear to be an instrument of death upon it. An instrument of death upon it. Oh, I'm in the glowing thing purple is like, eyes are kind of creepy and... <laughs> Well, I know it has like a weird impression in its body where something could be slotted in, has a coin slot, it has a frigging crank. I, I do tell Bran that I, I feel uh, less scared, less anxious since I touched it. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Yeah. My Okay, I will it. say this. You my... see the stitchings um, that with Mazetta, you study Mazetta as well. It also has very similar stitchings to it. I mean, not the same pattern as a, a medicine surgeon, plague doctor you are. Everyone kind of stitches a little bit differently. And so it's not like, well, this stitching is an exact match of Mazetta. Um, but the way it's stitched together is very similar to how Mazetta was stitched together. Riley would tell you it's a construct and so it is that being said um, Riley with your knowledge of arcane constructs it's a flesh golem of some kind with no arcane to it and both of you together both of you together can kind of look at it piece together that Everything is humanoid. 
I mean, even the weird things where, say, dragon folk might have this weird uh, knuckle structure in their hands due to the claws. This thing is entirely human in nature. No, I don't want to leave the meeting. That would be a terrible idea. Everything about this is human in structure, but you've done something terrible, abominable, just downright tasteless to the body in order to make it grow like this. These are natural horns, natural bone spurs coming out of the body, but in such a way that it is not natural looking. You know, if a human were to have bone spurs, it would be white. This is dark, purple, oily, black, greasy in nature, almost. So one of the thoughts I have is if it's not fueled by just straight up arcane magic, it possibly could be fueled by something else, especially given the nature of this place. My first thought, of course, is blood. But that this is this is kind of where I'm going with it, Kyle. Like yeah. what I'm investigating for. Mm-hmm. There's something that needs to be given to it for it to, shall we say, animate correctly. Do we really want to find out what that is? Yes. What about the people we're trying One to find? One of you has. <laughs> we are trying to find people. And clearly this is not the people we're trying to find. Riley's decided he wants to learn how to make golems now. Well, <laughs> but is this thing, but is this thing really a golem in the traditional sense? And I think the answer is no, right? It's not. I magical. want to learn how to make constructs now. Technically, the Especially answer is Eldridge yes. It is ones. technically a golem. It is. It is a golem. What traditional? Well, that. I. That's it all what depends. I meant. Like arcane traditional, alchemy traditional, but weird Eldridge pack, like god pack traditional. Eh. Which yeah, tradition, it all comes to different flavors. Which tradition do you feel that this is from then? I don't know. Possibly chocolate. <laughs> I wish I had some chocolate right now. Chocolate vanilla, make me strawberry, feel right? <laughs> I'm actually going to go... Oh, no, sitting is a bad idea. I'm going to go lean against a wall somewhere. Right against not, all the not in, blood? Not in, not in the cell, per se. Just, you know. Because uh, I imagine... I'm just not feeling all that great right now. She hasn't been feeling all that great this entire freaking time in these in these uh, tubes, lava tubes. It is loading. Are there any other doorways, entrances, exits to this cell, or is it just the one that came through? Back the way you came. It's not guarding anything. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. Who? Well, actually, why, there's something why? if you want to look around is see if there's any like hidden compartments, secret doors, or hidden uh, hideaways places in here. You could do that, Merrick. You're probably pretty good at finding things. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. no, that, no, 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 that'd be classist, not racist. He's a what? halfling thief. <laughs> no, I no, mean, no. Remember, the town's just racist against deep rogue, ones. But he is a rogue. I mean, you know. A rogue, not a thief. And technically, I'm now <laughs> racist <laughs> against ghouls. Yeah, he's a rogue, not a thief. I mean, I've, I learned to make that distinction a long time ago. The rogues are not necessarily thieves. So, like, I have a hate for ghouls. <laughs> Some might say irrational. I say completely rational. <laughs> I Hey, even I say it's completely rational considering where it stems from. Which is why you killed those completely human <laughs> cultists who were just trying to have fun with each other. Yeah. But not in the fun with each other, but in, in the fraternal way, you know? So, Maybe Kyle? that sounds worse. Yes. Just wondering. So, like, this place that we're in is pretty old, right? Yes. 
So like this room and this creature, is it possible that they are as old as the structure? That's a good question. Or are they more recent? I'm pretty sure this is older than more recent. This, they... The no, no, no! Is... I'm talking about the creature in particular. Like, I want to well, know: has this creature been here with the structure, possibly, or this room been untouched? I don't know. Can From the two of them yes. figure that out? I'll say between the two <coughs> of you guys and anyone else, kind of looking. Well, you yeah, two are kinda. really the ones who are looking at this thing. You know, you're <laughs> examining stitching. There is rat feces matted up in its oh, hair in places, gross. and dust. A full, heavy layer of dust where these rats aren't necessarily running back and forth, um, as well as nibble marks here and there. It's dried old flesh, but I mean, is there any way to actually date when it was made? Could they the one and figure out how long ago these stitches might have been put in, you know, or whatever? I tell you what, if you guys come up with a way to date this thing, then I'll probably help date it for you. Alchemy. <laughs> alchemy? Oh, okay. You, Half uh, life. Make your skill uh, alchemy it. check there. Yeah, yep. he's, car- he's carbon dating it. Yep. <laughs> can, can I telepathically communicate with it as a construct? I don't know. <laughs> just just want to try. It might be mindless. I think they're mindless. Not yeah, probably. But not why not try? Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah. But... Why not? You can certainly try. I'll try. Come on, do it. I hope you find something. I'll say hello. Yeah, really. Who are you? Uh, as Can you move? <laughs> your mind reaches out to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reason why I'm not doing any of this shit. I've seen already too fucking much stuff in this dungeon. I'm right in front of it. You I'm right there. I've encountered... It's Riley's turn. Things similar to this, and yet wholly different. <sighs> Some sort of alien mind is trapped behind barriers. <clears throat> One might think, and I. I, I with your good arcana, I, I'm just going to keep rolling a lot of things over and, here. For and you. my Eldridge background, keep that. And in your mind. Eldridge background. The Eldridge lets you feel this alien mind behind it. The arcana, these walled forces that are kind of holding it back, you recognize this um, as the control that a creator would have over such a creature the abomination the mind behind it that you would normally feel as you kind of connect minds with something else has this unmistakable tinge of ancient power having molded it at some point but you cannot cross through you cannot actually communicate with it but this is an active mind imprisoned in a construct so i can surmise that maybe giving it feeding it my dread or my fears or whatever uh, potentially releases some of those barriers or helps it you since it wakens a little bit since that it kind of wakens and that it powers the actual construct yes nice. whether that will actually remove these barriers from communicating with it um, that seems unlikely so when you were explaining the similarities but it's also entirely different. Are you trying to explain that it's similar to like an Eldritch Pact, but a tire entirely different Eldritch being? Yes, an entirely different Eldritch being. Cool. And I could probably surmise that based on all the Fadenafoa stuff around here. It's probably probably Fadenafoa. You could make that connection. Cool. Um 
if you have Yogg-Sothothri, and I think you gave it to me earlier, Carol. Yeah. Go ahead and give me the number now. Uh, if you want to throw oh. your role out there. I'll throw I, I mean, I don't Or remember. did you forget? Do okay, you need ahead, my roll, roll Kyle? Or Add just... your roll to it. Yeah. Oh, because my roll was seven. Seven. Oh, yeah. No. Fine. I rolled. Fine. Yeah. I, I rolled because technically I did not make Yogg Sothery. Sothery, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is 18 plus 23. Um, if you're telling me this. Yeah. If they are communicating well enough and you can kind of just watch this head and it comes to you that there are uh, a people known as the show show who uh, are devious of mind. Maybe you've read it among the library of. Uh, I didn't of dream it, right? You didn't dream this. So it's all right. So this is something that you have learned in some sort of separate story. Maybe even rumors, stories that um, your fellow cultist would tell to. I mean, your friends at the... <laughs> Thanks for that spoiler. At the Deep Rising would tell, you know, to kind of spook you uh, into waking up in the middle of the night. But you know, there are these stories of these show show who are devious, who just crawly creepy humans that are yet so inhuman they don't act with passion but they would steal and snatch in the night they would sneak in and they would poison your cow but the cows would be fine until the family would drink the milk and the family would be poisoned from the milk that this poisoned cow gave them unknowingly. So wait, are we thinking that one of them made this? Or this is... No, I have and to you wait. You would hear that they would come in shapes and sizes, that they would never attack ferociously, but would snatch children with elongated arms with mouths in the center of their hands. Um, they would produce claws with venom, shoot webs like a spider from these weird protrusions. And this connection that, yeah, this is exactly like those stories almost. I mean, Nothing was ever that big, but the claws, the the bone spurs, what they did to the head is what the horror stories is what they would do to you. If they ever caught you sneaking out at bed at night, they would take your head and sew your eyes shut and your ears and your mouth shut. And they would just wait for you to die in utter silence that way until they would then cut off your head and shrink it. So they, so I think they made this. Not that he's one of them. They made this thing. And this was a person. Oh, it's still a construct of flesh. And so... It's obviously not one creature, but multiple creatures. <laughs> uh, question. Did we witness uh, when Riley touched it, like, stuff coming from him? Uh, Riley is starting to know you very well, Bran, and so he's just waiting for opportunities to look away and examine different things. <laughs> Mr. Observant. I mean, all I did was walk up and touch it. You know, kind of shrouded in a cloak of flies, so I guess maybe you didn't see anything. So He did say that uh, when he touched it, it went something wrong, though. So you might be aware that he touched it. 
Oh no, he yeah, touched it. Happen. Yeah, I said I I said that I uh, feel less scared and anxious since I touched it. Yeah. And yes, I remember that, that, and I don't really. Life. That doesn't really surprise me. He, you know, he's a creep. I mean, what? Yeah. I'll touch anything, at least once. <laughs> that, that's how you get sued. <clears throat> so, because I don't know anything particularly happened, mm-hmm. and I am investigating him, I would like to try to get some of the sampling from him, possibly a bit of stitching, some of the oil. For that, I'm assuming I will have to touch it. Are you touching it? <sighs> yeah. Actually, does and, it have to be skin on skin contact? Because he does have fair. his hand wrapped. He does. He does. Yeah, I do. I mean, are your claws stick? I mean, are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're wow. talking about. Only one person here has claws. Kyle is Mr. Spoiler tonight. It's all, it's all fine. It's all fine. I mean, I have a, I have a logical alibi. Clearly, Riley's a deep one. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I do tell you all you guys what I realized there. Just so you know. It looked like made by some people this weird people show called show. the show show. T H O. Oh, it's T H O. Yes. Show show. Okay. T H. You didn't hear me pronounce not... T. God. No, oh, I heard show. 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 I th- all right, so it's T. Not to be confused with Totoro. T H O. Don't give him any gold. Wait. I thought it'd be so so. Okay. You would be wrong. Well, okay. T H O T H O. Merrick, you said you were gonna kind of look around the room, see if you can find any secrets, stores, compartments, stuff like that. If Brian's ready to have to touch the thing, I want to wait to see what that does first. But if he's not, then yeah, I'll take a look around. <laughs> well, we'll say he's examining it with his eyes first, so you have the opportunity to look around. Okay. If you want to roll um, uh, perception, investigation, survival, something along those lines? Yeah, I can roll perception. Survival doesn't matter. Uh, 21. 21. Yeah, you go around, you look around. Um, you do not find any secret doors, any secret compartments. You do see bits of shattered bone pressed up against the wall. Um, doesn't belong to any rodents. It doesn't belong to rats or anything like that. Um, but it is fairly shattered that you're not going to be able to tell without another check. Um if you get to the blood stains on the wall, you actually find uh, in one of them uh, embedded canine teeth. Mm. It's actually buried Bad into teeth. the walls. Um, yeah, just pretty horrifying stuff, really. Can I remove the tooth? Yeah, you can remove the tooth, and it is about yay long whatever you're gonna give it to riley i'm gonna ask riley if this is another one of his, one of those teeth <laughs> <laughs> i insert it to right right next to the other one just so it's in parallel <laughs> with the one in your mouth <laughs> yeah so I'd i look probably, like a saber tooth tiger or vampire or something i'd probably wash it off first uh, uh, no, no he, oh, didn't. he didn't i was I actually didn't. saying something about that <laughs> why would i wash it off <laughs> Oh, God, that is, so that is diminish the flavor. Here, I'll press the digitation or something. There we go. We're fine. All right. Oh What's my your God! Constitution so bonus gross. there, Riley. Uh, I'd need to roll something for you. All right, Constitution save. Let's see here. Uh, that was a net one. Oh. <laughs> so I've got oh, you'll find out now. later. Don't worry. Uh, oh no, you're you'll gonna look be really cool. The diarrhea. Are, you know what? He's already at one point of exhaustion. So does that mean he'll go to? I just two pass out. <laughs> is he? Is he one step the further? All right, uh, Bran. <coughs> you. Are collecting samples from where, from how? Tell me what you're doing. Uh, probably the back. I want to get some of that oil from these spikes. That could be interesting. Uh, as for the carbon dating, I need some of that stitching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
as you attempt to collect this ooze from its back. Oh, God. How much dread are you at right now? (laughs) (laughs) This thing's going to wake up, I bet. That's how much dread. You were hoping for Uh, a fight. I think I'm at three. I think I got dropped back down to three after the last bit. I think so. Unless there's more. Drop down two levels of dread. Uh, and make a constitution saving throw. As you two have this feeling of this overwhelming sense. <coughs> it's like he's eating the dread, you know. You. That 20 for 22. Yeah. <laughs> And you too also gain two levels of exhaustion. Two? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. (laughs) That would be fun. Uh, No, you feel this. It is ripped. It is torn. It is visceral. Slippery as it kind of rips away from you. And it's like it's trying to take a part of you too. It doesn't care what it's attached to it once it desires this presence about you and you are able to kind of isolate it mentally somehow possibly but you shut it down and it tears away these two levels of dread from you I pull back and look at it for a moment and the head, you can kind of watch as this, again, this fine, slimy purple mist. How mist is slimy, I don't know. But it's that feeling you get that it sinks into the stitches where you were trying to remove a little bit. And you can kind of see this purple light shimmering across in the lantern light you have across the stitching. And there's more motion um, in the creature. I look at it for a moment, and then I'd like to say in Aklo, Mm -hmm. do you understand me? It turns its head in your direction as it does so. but makes no motion of there's no nod of its head it just simply turns its head to look at you that being said that's incredibly difficult to see as you went after its back and its head is this little tiny thing that's just kind of hide you can kind of see well I'll go around in front of it when I speak to it obviously (laughs) yeah Uh, And as you speak to it, it follows you. Look at Riley. When you touched it, did you see a purple mist? Oh, heck yeah. Did you? Yes. I think this thing is fueled by terror. No, then we should get Anja to touch it. No. I think that's a bad idea. I think that's a good idea. You'll no. be much better afterwards. Uh, more exhaustion, probably not good. I really think you should touch no. it. You don't know about the exhaustion. Mm, I know Brand something. feels fine. I don't you, do. Brand? I'm assuming I do, I right, does, uh, right? Uh, Kyle? I don't feel exhausted or anything. You don't feel exhausted, no. Actually, actually, I'm right now. I'm, I'm at two points. It's not getting rid of insanity, so. Well, we can sleep right here. <laughs> that may not help. In my case. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, that's a good point. Whether or not I pick up the fact that. S- like you guys sag down or whatever that 
you I don't. really seem really uh, you don't but so, uh, yeah that's the thing oh, i don't know that point. it does this to riley that's, either. that's yeah. true that's As true. Riley shared. You, did, you did not react because you made your save like you really made your save i don't know if it's a good idea if you touch it i don't know what this thing will do i only like actually i was less fearful than you at the time I do find it interesting it's been here this long, especially if other individuals or groups have moved in. Why haven't they attempted to deal with this thing? Why did they not come to this room? There's so many questions around this thing. That one cultist is running this way, so... You're right. Before, But he wouldn't have been able to get in. No, it was locked, yeah. Yeah, from the inside. Tried. Nobody's tried to get in until we, as far as I can tell. I did observe that key. and think of that earlier. There's a million questions around this thing. I'm, I'm more, more like I'm afraid. I don't want to wake it up. I don't really. I mean, yeah. it is awake already. Yeah, but I mean, okay, there's being awake and then there's being awake. I mean, it may be conscious, but I don't think it's really awake. No, I mean, it's not one of the people we're looking for and it's not trying to kill us. We could just leave. I mean, I'm fine with you guys exploring it. That's, I know that's something you two like to do, especially. But why bother to poke a, why bother to poke it? potentially cause it to do something that would harm us why not no I agree i'm with not them. doing so great this is not what we should be dealing with i do find it intriguing but i would err on the side side of caution we do not know who put this here we do not know what it's capable of we do not know what type of intent it has we have no way of controlling it that we're aware of. Speaking of that, Merrick, you should touch it. No, I'm good. No. <laughs> I just look at Riley like, come Riley on. walks behind Merrick. Why don't you touch it again, <laughs> Riley? Can I touch it? Yeah, I will touch it again. Just That's a good idea, Andre. Oh, shit. Touch um, it again? I, well, yeah, I have no dread left, right? Oh, no, I had two levels acting at one. So now I'm at one acting like zero. Mm -hmm. You touch it again. And once more, the feeling of something being torn away from you. It's, it's actually quite used to that. Feeling, man. Like his memory. <laughs> I actually, I have no clue what you're talking about. Constitution. <laughs> please. <laughs> of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't remember his memory being torn away from him. <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember who you people are. I just hang around. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you remember that. Oh, Look, that was a little bit better. Oh. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a six. Yeah. <laughs> As this last level of dread is ripped from you, uh, you gain another level of exhaustion. You realize when you get to keep doing about. Four more times, and then you'd be dead. Apparently, oh, six points of exhaustion will and a kill foot you. Plants itself on the ground, and the other, and with effortless ease, it stands up to its full height, where its shoulders and spines are scratching the surface of the ceiling. Uh, which explains old scars that had been there previously. And it yanks the chains out of the wall. <laughs> Way to go. I don't know what you're going to learn from this, but uh, okay. Um, I'm turning around and misty stepping. That's a reaction, <laughs> right? Or a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> you wake it up and you friggin... I, mean, I skedaddle. Bran I'm a, I'm a will begin one. to back out of the room and make Keep sure that Merrick is following or in, at least behind him. How do you think I've lived this long? I skedaddle fast. But I don't I react quickly. 
I'm going to, sure. I, I want to be between them and it. No, yeah. you're, uh, you're already like kind of, toward, I, I, I would assume I'm like between it at this point. Since no, no, no. Disappeared. I'm going to let you guys go before. I'm going to let you, well, especially I'm going to let Merrick get out. And I draw, I have my, Aja, I draw weapons. It reaches its hand out to you. <laughs> Fuck uh, you. And yeah. with a 20, oh. I assume that hits. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll hit. That's not a natural 20. That's a dirty. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Always. No, I figured. Nope. It I figured. reaches a hand out to you. Oh, shit. And places it on your head. This is yeah. bad. This is gonna just be wants to eat you. Fuck Make you, a constitution Riley. saving throw. Wait, does she get to turn into a ghoul? Nope. No, she I, no, I don't think that's what to. it does. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm, it's come hungry on. still. I'm going to make that with a 17, I'm sure. Ah! You think? DC 18. Fuck DC you. 16. Ooh. <laughs> As it removes... Yes. You also have this feeling. Ah! Again, it's not painful, but your vision it feels is weird, clouded okay? with this mist as it leaves your eye sockets and goes up into its stitching. Is it and holding again, me there? It's awful. It's terrible. It wafts up and it pulls at you more and more. Oh. And you're able to kind of force it mentally to stop taking. And once it's done, it gently removes its hand from your head mm-hmm. and proceeds to walk out the jail cell. What's my dread right now? Now you said you had two. I had two. Mm-hmm. So how many do I have now? Zero. All right, so it takes all my dread. So I made the save, so I'm not exhausted. I don't gain a point of exhaustion. You don't gain another level of exhaustion. Oh, thank freaking God for that, because it's bad if I can't. I told you. Should have touched it. No. So, question. Does she still have a fear of blood? Oh, the insanity. Uh, she's still insane? Yes. Stanity's- oh, then insanity's permanent? Yeah. Yeah. It Until she gets rid of it. Yeah. Uh, we will get to a point where we end up talking about that a little bit more, but it's a little too recent to do anything about it. Uh, yeah, so if you guys, you know, immediately you kind of back up out of this jail cell and it doesn't do anything to be... Uh, yeah, Bran, you see it reach its hand out and grab Anja's head. Yeah, I kind of figure I know what it's doing. Yeah, it's... it's and it, let's you're go. Right. And then just tries to lumber out of the door. In Aklo, I then kind of say behind it, what is your purpose? The turning of the head, the body to look in the direction, in your direction at you. And then it turns and continues to walk away. Is it walking the way we came in? It is walking in the way you came in, yeah. There's like no the, other uh, the other door that was originally locked? That was originally locked. It is leaving the jail cell and going down the hallway. This is a... This may be very bad. Either... I say we follow it stealthily. The Let's problem is, is this thing gets out and it starts trying to feed on people. Yeah? At least they won't it can be somebody. very bad. Cause much harm, terror, destruction. What they get sleepy? I don't think it knows how to open the doors. We'll find out. You want to follow? What's it? going to happen when the town guard encounters it? They'll maybe be stop it. You, you want to follow it? We have to. We just unleashed it. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to. We have no responsibility at all. No, I want to. You know what, Riley? We do have you a responsibility. Hear... You released it. The immediate I didn't do it. Yes, you did. You touch it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brand did it too. Where is he it did, going? Did you tell him that that was the effect? No. So Brand did not know, but you did. So you released it, and I'm going after it. Okay. I still don't see this as a bad thing. I see it as a very bad thing. It's a friggin' monster. 
You just that did name. Not How do you know? Feel good. How do you know? So far, it oh. hasn't done anything to attack us. There's been no hostile movement from it. There's been absolutely zero reason. It technically did attack. Bag. I feel like it, a piece it touched of my her without her soul. consent. Exactly. And if, yeah. Oh wait. By the way, I need. You to make touched it first. Hold on. I need to make a roll. Yeah. It is it, leaving. It, it, no, no, <laughs> Kyle. Kyle. Yes. The, 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 Oh, oh, it, 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 she oh was yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, is I, there an issue with touching? Yep, yes. That one. Oh, is that oh. why you're freaking out? Fuck you, Riley. So all of that speech that you just had is for not because you're just a statue, aren't you? No. <laughs> you're just standing no, there. No, 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 she, she snaps. Oh, she and, might attack it. Yeah, exactly. Well, we'll find. Actually, no. We can find out what happens here, because I don't remember what happens with this level of failure. All the the levels of dread are now back, so I automatically gain one just from the fact it touched me. Okay, let's see. And then I freaking rolled a nat one. So your fault was a nat one, but I can work it up. Problem is, I keep like I'm trying to. Problem is, I got two insanities. I'm trying to keep track of, and I keep screwing up when you guys like go to heal me. Technically, that's touching me, and I should be reacting. And you I you are keep forgetting one. The immediate laying hands upon you gain a dread. Yeah. Well, if it's Failing immediate, then it drains it. Throw. Oh wait, that's wait, 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 wait. That's right. Did it drain it? Because I gained it when it would have touched me. She's and infinite then it fuel. It off, right? <laughs> Is that Gosh. Infinite yeah. energy. We, oh we revive God. an Eldritch Horn <laughs> just by letting Anja in the room. Yeah, Anja will oh. be another uh, same throw. Oh, God. Of constitution. Oh, wait. This is not the same constitution. Make a 16 or better. I did in that time. Oh, no. Well, wait. Okay. We already. Wait. Didn't we already. Is this a different thing? No, well, this is the same thing. No, we're but, going back. You but wait, just but reminded it, me that you are a battery for this thing, <laughs> and it's not letting go until it gets what it wants. Oh shit! Wait, wait, like wait, 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 wait! It's like <laughs> right. wait, wait. Uh, gonna kill her. <laughs> yeah. Let me say this is what happens. All right, all right, yeah. I, it touches I'm... you. You have gained another level of dread. However, it has taken two oh, from you. Oh shit! Now I get you, it. However, oh, have shit. uh uh. It's failed your saving throw, so you have gained an additional two back. We're not in insanity, uh, insanity territory quite yet. As I'm it gonna then get two back. All right, so I'm gonna steals two. that extra two from you just now. You gain another level of exhaustion. Well, oh, okay. So as the first this continues to drain you like a battery. You better freaking so do something, or left. it will. Uh, it will. This will kill me. I'm at how one point, right? So I'm at two points of exhaustion. You're at two points of exhaustion. You are back at zero points of dread as it takes another so two. It's uh, half of a D4 just to let you peek behind the curtain and then let's go of you. Oh, so it doesn't just keep holding on and adding and it, taking No, it just touches you again, then it does it. <laughs> so this is one touch. Your dread, your insanity. <laughs> It, so, I imagine you're screaming. Maybe. Oh I mean, yeah. This is not a good thing. No. But this is really bad. You know, right. as this, you know, you don't want to be touched. You don't want to be touched. Let go of me! You. It's a scream that dies. <laughs> in a very. I guess I'm awful not gonna way. die. All right. So what is what is two points? Oh, my speed is half. This is good. Yeah, so you can't keep up. That's fine. Yeah. I just so you said it lets go, right? It does then let go and proceeds to attempt to walk out All right. of the jail cell. So then I can't I, yeah, I, I can't I'm not chasing it because I, I well I can try to chase it. And uh, if that has we have changed the scene a little bit from what yeah. has happened. So if you guys wanted to have done something differently. So it's that just holding on to her right now? Sorry, I, I was... I no, it didn't hold on to her, it's still let go. It, she it just held on slightly longer. Scream, and yeah. then she kind of... That scream of hers died off. 
and then it proceeded to let go of her. Okay, so it respected your boundaries. No, it didn't. It touched me in the first place, and it ripped something away. You didn't feel that? Well, yeah. And I'm, oh, I'm going to, yeah, I basically lean up against the thing because you, you go after it, I'll catch up. I mean, I didn't <laughs> think it was necessarily bad. Like, it, this is the feeling I have with my patron all the time. It's terrifying. You've got a patron. <laughs> Riley, Riley, go follow it. We will be there as soon as we can. Nah, I'm not. I'm not leaving the group. I mean, I may be crazy, but I'm not crazy. Yeah, you are. <laughs> like I'm not. Despite your best efforts. Yeah, like group or nothing. Walking I, out of the. It doesn't matter. At this this, there's no way. There's no. There's no way I can fix this now. Fix what? It's the the fact I feel this tired. There's no way I can fix this without a rest, and I'm not even sure it'll work. I woke up this morning exhausted because I'm sick. You begin to lose sight of it as it goes I down can't. the hallway. Fine, I will follow it. Keep up as follow as best you can. I will backtrack. Right. I will follow it at top speed. You guys go. All right, catch, I'm following Bran. Stay up with him. I'll catch up. Uh, I'm faster. <laughs> yeah, That's it. you're at yeah. two levels of exhaustion, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, what does that mean? No way. Oh, he's oh wait, that's he can't right. keep up. He can't keep up either. I'm I'm half speed. Half speed. Yeah. Oh, you're speed. at two levels. Yeah, you're half speed too. And oh, you're right. not only that. You're also because of the first. I assume it's cumulative, right? So yes. So you also have disadvantage on ability checks, which is the thing I keep forgetting. How dare you? Uh. The three of you who have not chased after it or are far behind it hear the sound of smashing stone. Wait, I get disadvantage? Okay. Yeah. When, all right. So why? We'll get you to the Screw point where you, you start Riley, failing Riley, saves. Then I'll try to get saved. <laughs> That's how oh I get Lord, How do I write? All right, me, throw diary. me some dread saves, please. <laughs> so right now, all right. So wait, wait. Just so I know, right now I'm at dread zero, right? Okay. On the bright side, it's you're the drained. <laughs> That's See, the you're good so thing. You're exhausted. You're not even afraid, afraid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I still don't want to be touched. Don't stand too close to me. <laughs> uh, Bran, you witness as this thing walks into the room where the cultists are playing cards. Yeah. Were very much were, were. Uh, all the blood <laughs> splattered everywhere. Not quite. Let me get to this point. Oh, where one of the bodies were as a huge footprint is all that is left of one of the bodies as the creature just walks through it. Oh, okay. So I didn't like on it, it didn't like purposely go over, then go stop a body, then, then continue. It did not appear to do that. Uh, okay. But there is now this lovely bloody footprint after it. Ooh, and you see yeah. as it puts its fist uh, into one of the murals. Is it like oh, in the man, way it, or something? <coughs> like national track. Uh, it like walks straight out of the hallway. Yeah. Um, the room itself is, if you were to turn left from the hallway, you would go into a different place of the temple that you have not seen. If yep. you were to go right, you would go up the stairs and back into the temple. It has walked straight forward from the wall to this mural and proceeded to put its fist into the mural. All right, I'll observe it for a moment. It steps away and moves to another section of the mural and plants its fist in that portion. Boom! Boom! Does it just continue to destroy the mural? Pieces of it, yes. And you continue watching 
and you didn't catch it the first time exactly what it was going through, but the second time, it's an image of a ghoul with bones oh. and paint, and it puts its fist through that. Oh. And it starts oh my goodness, I now, found, I now find a huge kinship with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it, every mural where there is a ghoul, <laughs> it proceeds to rip, tear, and put its fist through. Oh, wow. Okay. In some cases, you see liquid leaking out <gasps> of the stone and the acrid smell of acid kind of burns away at the mural for where it smashes its fist. Does it look like it's leaking from the mural? Uh, in this situation, if you take the time to actually look at it and Again, at the golem, it appears to be coming from the golem's okay. talons in its fist. Okay. All right, well, lycometer has gone up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what's happening, uh, Merrick? You're now taking care of two uh, uh, infant children, essentially. No, no, no. no. Merrick, <laughs> no. When we set Merrick up, he, when... I, I stood... I stayed with Riley when I realized he couldn't keep up. Uh, no, no, go. I, I, no, I'll be with Riley too. I mean, you know. What? No, I'm, I'm going. I'm following the bloody footprints. I'm probably yeah. at that point by now. Yeah, we're. I mean, we're all walking. <laughs> but Merrick, you don't have to stay back with us. You can move your normal speed. Yeah, I'm fine. Where the two of us will be okay. Keep up. Keep up with Bran. So at least like winded and wheezing. <laughs> winded and wheezing. Um. Yeah, you Cat come across queen. the site of this creature, smash portions of the mural. Bran, I don't know what you're doing, man. Are you just standing there? I am appreciating the its work <laughs> after a fashion. Uh, when I notice the others arrive, I turn to them and say, well, I believe I've deduced something. It has a strong dislike of ghouls. Aren't you glad I let it out now? Uh, the, no. No. Sh- sh- the sh- where the Nothing sh- pleases you. I think it's just an issue with me now. <laughs> question, <laughs> question to the GM. Question to me. Show, show, are they ghouls? Show, show, are not ghouls. They're uh, not ghouls. They're okay. humans. They are, okay. I just want to so make sure. so alien I... in nature that it's almost That's... like they're not. They're boogeymen. That's why I kind of wondered, though, if maybe there was some sort of ghouls or something, because you mentioned how unhuman they are. But they're not undead or anything like that. But they are technically human. They are not I think ghouls. at some point you guys have discovered that ghouls um, usually start humanoid and then turn into the creatures almost... Uh, uh, like a lycanthrope, you know, they're born human, born elves, born dwarves, uh, and then at some point they get this curse upon them and then they become ghouls. Like that one uh, noble ghoul that we met in Farzeen, who was a half elf originally 400 years ago. Upton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Upton yes, Sinclair. <laughs> At this point, the golem turns towards the staircase and walks out of the, the way we came. The way you came. I'll follow. This thing might know more than we do. Sure. I follow too. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're going to follow and try to. We're as a group now. From the hall behind you. As you continue to follow the ghoul out. Uh, It proceeds with its reign of destruction. Uh, That did pick up, yes? Yes. (laughs) Okay, good. Was that you playing uh, that creepy music, Kyle? Well, oh, I did hear that. I yeah, I heard that, and I wasn't sure. Oh, he's got a uh, he's got a player. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Box. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. I I didn't know if that was part of the scene, yeah, but that it, was that's one of the items the we found in um what's his face's room back on the other island. Oh, do do I get to roll dread again? <laughs> do you want to? Yeah, that was he, pretty. He wants creepy. to roll dread. That uh, was creepy. I should say you can be scared of it, but uh, it's not dread quite. But that oh, is coming from the hall that you did not go through. And as you kind of follow the skull amount. What are we doing with it? Well, if it hates ghouls, maybe it'll lead us to more ghouls and more places to investigate. It's going the wrong All right. direction. Not necessarily. Well, I mean, There's still places we haven't encountered. Wait, actually, is there places back yes. there? There's places back there yeah, we haven't Yeah, like the explored, stairwell right? with the creepy music and stuff. So, about that, uh, Follow the golem. I will return in a moment. I wish to make sure that we do that we're not going to have things behind us. All right, sounds good. I can handle that. Yeah. It doesn't. Af- One thing this doesn't affect yet is my ability to fight. Yeah, Brand can flee if if need be. He's fast and dexterous. Uh, I'm going to split the party. <laughs> Oh, that's always a good idea. I love it. Don't you know? <laughs> you never split the party. Uh, I wish to go <laughs> follow the music, which appears to be the opposite direction that the goal is going. Mm-hmm. Luckily, I can pretty much follow the goal just from the straight up the structure. And pretty the bloody much. footprints. And the bloody footprints. You go down the hallway with the odd lullaby. Delphi. Quickly, not even examining the floor for traps. Re- <laughs> I don't have to examine. I always see. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a lot of assumptions here, pal. I am. <laughs> you can't see what we're doing. <laughs> uh, and I will this. snuff the lantern. Sure. Because mm. you there can't see. There is a blue glow in the room far at the end of this very wide hallway. <laughs> what does this hallway look like? Plain? Murals? There are uh, murals on this one as well. I will uh, stop to make sh- to look to see if there are any holes in the side of the wall that could be dart traps or something like that. Uh, there are skulls embedded into the wall and you kind of take a quick glance <laughs> Is that shadow a hole? No, it's just an eye hole. Uh, these are murals depicting ghouls laid on all fours. Not laid on all fours. They are crouched on all fours. And you see uh, this unending stream of them ghoul after ghoul after ghoul and as you get to the end of the hall I pull down my hood further Mm -hmm. to avert my eyes you see ships there is nothing (laughs) you're blinding yourself as I'm trying to describe the situation Uh, There are ships where these ghouls appear to be popping out of and at the helms of these ships. And these are old Viking-esque boats. I can't think of the long ships. There we go. Long ships. And you can kind of see at the helmsman place of these ships, you see humanoid. Uh, Most likely humans on there. There's no sign of pointed elves. They're not shorter, they're not bearded humans uh, uh, with these symbols of Fetnathoa that you are starting to become a little bit more familiar with. This volcano, this raining of lava down, and this singular eye that is made of this pale pearlescent green stone, Welcomite, once again uh, uh, being used in these murals and you come to the room and the blue light disappears and you are left 
in near total darkness. That your dark vision allows to see there is a mound of something on the ground. But do I, tales do not come forth. Do I smell rotten decay? You do not smell that. Does the mound appear to have a shape, or does it just appear to be lumpy and shapeless? Lumpy, shapeless. There's some sharp corners. And this There's mound a is a head it... of something small, like hair is attached to it, and you can kind of get this glimpse of a nose, um, a chin. <laughs> How far away am I from this thing? You are at the doorway. It is amongst this pile of, of things. Um, so I would say five feet or so. Uh, what else is in this room? Just take a quick it is peek. a very dark room. You are going to have to light something if you actually want to get details. No. But it is a mound. It is a pile of something. You Did it look kind like of the... make out barely with the light behind you, giving you just enough dark vision. It's like, yeah, that's a small humanoid head, about yay big, um, palm size, just to give you a better idea than just that. Um, you can see fuzz hair sprouting from it. There are some sharp corners in there. Um, and other there are these smooth, pearlescent shapes, but not shiny like pearls. It's dull matte color. It's not reflecting any light that you can tell. Give me a perception check. <laughs> Twenty-five. Twenty-five. You peer closer as your eyes adjust a little bit more to this darkness. You begin to see a short, stout figure with a handle and a spout on the floor, amongst these objects. Hmm. I see. It's a doll. Do I hear anything in this room? You hear nothing in this room. Is there, is it a door or an open way? There is no other signs of doors that you can tell in this room. It appears to be the end of the line as far as you can tell. I will back away and return to the group. And as you back away, the way becomes brighter and brighter and you can kind of see once more It's funky. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact you actually bought a music box. I did not. Uh, or you got my my yeah. twenty wisdom senses. Uh, 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 what is it? A um, uh, what the hell are those called? A uh, one of the rare fish. Uh, you know, the fishies with the little, like, tentacle. Oh, the angler fish? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I huh? feel like, uh, gee, somebody's trying to <laughs> angle some uh, some prey over there. Yeah. Fishy's not biting. <laughs> this is good. Uh, as you were doing that, you three are following this uh, Shosho goblin. Stolt knows that it's you. Goblin? <laughs> Goblin. Goblin. I have goblins on the brain all the time. Apparently. The time. 
uh, Udu, uh, Frog Munch, all the goblins Ooh, everywhere. Frog Munch. Yeah, this golem is walking into the main room. And every time there is a ghoul in the mural, it slams a fist as it walks by. And it begins to turn. And so this has been quite a while. Um, instead of going out to the uh, foyer where you kind of entered this temple, it turns in the direction that you guys did not go and proceeds to walk down a winding uh, long staircase, unfinished walls at this point. Um, continuing uh, to follow it. Yeah. Uh, it finds itself on a landing. How close are you guys following this thing? Uh, how fast is it moving, by the way? Faster than you guys. Um, is it moving? Imagine right... a juggernaut situation where it doesn't appear to be moving fast, but it is going to actually get where it's going rather quickly. It's like um, Michael Myers. All right, so <laughs> Merrick, are you stealthy? You're. Oh yeah. Racist. No, it's what? not There's that. Just... It's you're not... small. You're not going to be noticed. <laughs> it's nothing to do with that. It's Jesus Christ. I think it's the same. He's got the same as me. I think so. Yeah. Plus four stealth. Well, no, I was thinking of sending you, seeing if you go up there because you can keep up with it, and we'll follow behind. And we got the swords too. We yeah, yeah, we'll just we'll just keep watch through these swords. You can go on ahead, Mary. No, no, he he moves thirty. I'm moving fifteen uh, or twenty. I move twenty-five. Sorry, he's moving twenty-five. Sorry, he's moving twenty-five. He's a right. got little legs. He's got the stubble. Yeah, sorry. He's They're moving, kicking though. I'm moving fifteen. Okay, so right now, so it's. You know, and I imagine so are you. Merrick, give me a piggyback ride, please. <laughs> yeah, that'll work well. I'm 110 pounds. It's all right. It's it's, it's it might be kind of a height issue there. Be... <laughs> hey, it'll be great. It I'll is. just tuck my cloak around. Plus, it probably so moves slower because you weigh him yeah. down. Yeah, yeah then we'll all go the same speed. Solve the problem. Well, you two will. I still won't. I'm I'm going 15. Yeah, no, we both are going 15. He's going 25. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, but, but the point is, he can keep up with them better than yeah. we can. Yeah, if okay. it's getting away from them, I'm gonna try to stay tennis uh, feet in back. Be, yeah, in between. I mean, we're coming. We're gonna come, but unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh -oh. Uh oh, we lost Kyle. Oh Wait, God! Did we really? We lost. Oh, we lost him. Lost him. Yeah. I was yeah. looking at my sheet, not at Zoom. Well, hi everybody. We're all fucked. So, all right, let's discuss. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now. I, yeah. So personally, I love this golem. Uh, this is as a player. I love this golem. Yeah. Uh, right. No, I, I don't disagree as a player. I don't disagree. Uh, as a character, my character really likes this golem, but at the same time, dislikes this golem. I'm fascinated as a as a care as a player. I'm fascinated by this freaking thing because it was being held as prisoner by ghouls. You hate him? No, no, no. I love him because of that. No, but he... I love him because he hates ghouls. I hate him because he's like stitched, you know, thing of undeadness. But he's, he's, he's not, not undead. undead. He's not I... undead, but he's from a dead body. Is he? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's a flesh goal, yeah, and all flesh goals yeah, are. Yeah, it, he actually kind of is. How does Brand feel about desiccated uh, ghoul corpses? Uh, <laughs> much better, especially recently. Before I would have been, you know, oh, they still deserve some respect. Now it's no. Sadly, you that was like the that was the, you know the, the episode you missed. I think the when... best part is too about this is <coughs> even though this is a phobia, I don't think it's going to be seen as a phobia. <laughs> No. <laughs> Kyle, can we hear you yes. yet? Are you okay? You can hear me. Yeah, he's on a can phone or something. So I where did you go? What happened? He shrunk his head. Oh god. He became <laughs> he became the uh, flesh goal. All right. Huh? Well you're back. I am back, yes. 
I like how We're it looks like he's looking it. through a wall now, or like a or like a little uh, hole in the wall. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it all works. That's the secret right there. Wait, but, why is your like like uh, Kyle? Apparently, you've returned you twice. <laughs> what the hell? Well, there are two of you now. No, there aren't. Uh, all wait, better. What? Except we can't hear them. Hello, everybody. There you go. There it is. I decided to weird. mute this mic so that I wouldn't destroy <laughs> all of your ears. Anyway. Thank you. So, Merrick, you are stealthing behind this thing. Um, I'm going to say with natural halfling uh, stealth in uh, Carol's <laughs> racist mind. Actually, no. Uh, we're, we're equals. We're actually dead equals on stealth. Uh, just, same. Just the fact that a racist plus four stealth. Oh, we're all plus four. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, wait. Like, we're, we're all stealthy Brand. group. Bram, what's your stealth? Plus three. Oh, well, you're not as good as the rest of us. No. Nope. <laughs> no, Ironically. the reason why I asked, because if anybody's going to get up there, it's going to be Merrick, because he can actually move. And I was asking how stealthy it was, because, well, if you buy yourself, it's probably. On the bright side, too, Merrick could also just, you know, go underneath the golem's legs. I'm see, assuming, actually, is the goal racist. medium size or large size? Large. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah, he could go. Oh, yeah, I actually can't have his uh, hide behind. No. Yeah. I believe yeah. you can. He yeah. could just yeah. use his leg to hide behind. He could hide behind one of us. Actually. You assume he's that kind of halfling, <laughs> and that's racist. Okay. Merrick, you are stealthing behind this thing. The rest of them, well, I mean, if you're not being a stealthy stealth person, you can keep up. If you're trying to be stealthy, you're going to lag behind pretty quickly. Um, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, so no, I... Cautious or stealthy? Cautious, you'll keep up with them. Stealthy, you're going to lag behind, <coughs> along with the rest of them who are not being stealthy. No, I'm going to focus on... Key. I mean, he doesn't seem interested in me, so I'm going to focus on staying with him so I can see what he's doing. Sure, we'll put cautiously. on a dog mask. Uh, these stairwells descend maybe um, 40, 50 feet down into the earth. They're fairly steep. Every once in a while, it pushes a hand into the wall to kind of keep its balance because its feet are large enough that it's encompassing multiple steps as it goes down. And you get to this landing. Um there's enough light you can see that it's going to turn to the right there a little bit and it is bright uh whatever is around that corner and with that light that you can see you notice the smoke coming out of the wall next to you and it's this packed dirt wall that it's the same kind that led you to that oasis it's kind of dried out a little bit but it looks a little bit fresher um and then there's just little bits and pieces of smoke billowing out of the wall the other thing you notice that the golem does not is that there is some sort of branch on the wall that is bound together And as this golem steps, it walks right into a trap. And this tree branch, honestly, more of a log, whips out and cracks right into its ankles. And it continues to walk through the trap with a limp. And then it disappears around the corner. Do you continue to follow it? Um, you said there's smoke coming out of the wall? There's smoke coming out of a wall. I want to check that out real first. Uh, I want to, can I just put my hands kind of near it to see if it feels like, you know, it's radiating a lot of heat? Yeah, you can put your hand up to it. Um, it's dry earth, uh, very similar to these kind of ghoul holes that you've been finding. Uh, and these kind of ghoul walls, um, it's dried earth. Um, you have to dig through it a little bit, but 
um, you're certain there's something on the other side. It is a little bit warm. And, um, if you can kind of whip the smoke into your face, uh, it's a little tinge of acrid. Uh, smoky in the sense of barbecue, almost. Um, like so not, that heat, but not heat. That, uh, not lava heat. Not lava heat. <laughs> oh, darn. I was I was picturing the movie Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones in the subway. <laughs> All right. I'm going to wait for the uh, other two to come down the stairs. Group, group. Bran, you have no trouble. You descend the stairs at the same time that these two reach the bottom of it. And there is sounds of fighting going on in the uh, around the corner from this landing. Uh, I want to hit. So Merrick is there. Uh, Merrick, do you inform us about the smoke thing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's smoke coming out of there. It smells like burning wood, not like. You know, the acidy lava. Um, I have make sure I point out the trap too. There's, you know, apparently there's traps, so we need to be careful going ahead. Uh, looks like it's disarmed. This one is. I'm gonna time and caution is not really in our favor right now. I'm gonna put my hand through the wall and so we can peek through. Okay. We you said we heard sounds of fighting. Yeah. Heard sounds of fighting as you up. reach the bottom down. Yeah, up ahead. Around in the front corner. Of us. Yes. To the bright room. Mm-hmm. Bullum's having fun. I'm yeah. actually disappointed I'm missing it. <laughs> Said we need to inspect the smoke yeah. because yeah. this is D&D. I know. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever you like. Yeah, there's fighting around the corner, but smoke. I know. Well, you guys screwed around with the golem forever instead of I mean, going so to fight. So far, he's, fight. he's clearing the path. I know. Countdown. What, what does that mean? I don't even know what you mean when you count You down. hear a scream that immediately cuts off. Uh, Bran, you hear the sound of a snap as it cuts off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm, very disappointed. I'm very disappointed now, but I still want to find out what the smoke is oh. first. Could go is it a human it. sounding scream? A person. Like it a was a sounding person. scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we tell if it's ghoul sounding or a human Does sounding? Does it sound yippy or like a spine snapping? Oh. Uh, like like a <laughs> there's no that's an odd question. <laughs> I mean Riley Riley it? has has uh listened to a few screams in his experiments on animals. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> totally joking. What? That's strange. <laughs> <laughs> Is Riley uh, that kind of Riley warlock? I don't is a know. Different kind of warlock than what I thought. But okay. Yeah. No, it's fine. Riley wouldn't do that. <laughs> um. Probably a human scream. It certainly isn't. It's blood curdling, animalistic, but from the throat of a humanoid, you would imagine. Um. There is. A flash of light, the impact of something on flesh, words being muttered, but it's not clear what. Um, Bran, you put your hand through the wall. Uh, Again, it's like digging through. Um, However, it's not quite as deep as the other one. Uh, And when you break through... uh, a good amount of smoke kind of starts pouring out of the hole. It is a fairly large room. In certain sections, you can kind of see this dull red glow in certain holes of the floor where this smoke is coming out, Um, which you're certain you probably would not have been able to see had it been... um, had you had the vision you had a day ago. But again, instead of stacked like kindling, 
these are arrayed like scarecrows and the bodies are much fresher than I push my way in as quick as possible mm -hmm. push your way in and you are inside what looks to be some sort of smoking room mm -hmm. I go to the closest body to check to see if it's alive. It is dead. I will then proceed to go to other ones to see if there's any type of life in any of them. The six most recent bodies are all bodies. However, you if you do look, there are toe tags again. One of them does say smoke inhalation. It is possible this body was left to die from lack of oxygen. Um, just to clear your own thoughts on this, um, you have opened a doorway. The smoke is kind of working its way out. I'm not going to say it's cool, fresh air that's coming in, but certainly better smelling than what has been in this room. Press to digitation? <laughs> and the ceiling itself is just high enough um, that a lot of the smoke is still kind of hanging near the top as opposed to down where you guys are hanging and these bodies are up in the smoke a bit so um, there so there doesn't appear to be any living uh, individuals in this room no one is living in this room and there are hundreds of bodies hanging in this room it is going to take time to go through them if you wanted to do that um, can uh, we don't have the time can I how well can you see, by the way? I mean, in there, is it the smoke really blocking? Because I want to look and see if I see. Faces are kind of difficult to see with the smoke up in okay. there. Okay. I mean, I mean, you can reach a hand up and be like, oh, this isn't the man we're looking for. This I is... just, I was going to just make a perception check, and this time I'll actually remember to do it That's at disadvantage. Fine. Yeah, go for it. To see if maybe I recognize one of the people we're looking for. And I'll take perceptions from everybody. All right, so eight plus perception. 26. Wow, 13. If anybody's going to see, it's going to be 18. <laughs> 18, good. 13. 13, okay. Uh, you two are just exhausted. Um, yeah. There, it's just more horrible things after horrible things necessarily. Um, I'm having a real bad trip. I will say, Bran, you run across the body of Brother Mateo. That leaves you one more, doesn't it? I think so. yeah, the and other scary. scary finds the other scary. Oh, they're yeah. both in there. Carmelo scary. Oh, I was gonna say two out of three is good enough for me. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the, all of them. Then. What do their toe Riley? tags say? <laughs> um, let out for scary. Uh, brother Mateo, um, sacrificed. Oh, it's could they notice whether or not his eyes are doing that thing? His eyes are hidden. Remember, he's high up in the smoke. Yeah. Eyes are hidden, and he is among the most desiccated, jerkified bodies in this room. And he's fairly fresh, I think. He's fairly fresh. <laughs> well, I mean, I think he was one of the more About 36 recent. hours he has been missing. Yeah, he's a little bit dim and gone very long. Woo! But That's really, one good smoker. But he's really <laughs> desiccated. That's. Bran will just, after he sees the two, he'll just stop for a moment and then exit the room and just sit on the stairs for a moment. 
We see the source of the smoke. The Hello. source of the smoke appears to be coming up from these holes in the ground. It looks lava. like lava. This is uh, lava smoke coming out. And you're proficient in survival, and I think you even have expertise in that, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, this is how you dry age meat to make it last longer. Yep. And judging by the smell of the smoke, this is going to be an interesting flavor of jerky. Is this their library? <laughs> One of them. Remember all the bodies back there, too. Yeah. Bran has left the room. Bran has left the room. What does that mean? What can I do? I don't know. What can I? I'm not a ghoul yet. I can't eat their brains yet. It's not really much to do. Really? Yeah, I investigate. I also use my eyes of the roomkeeper or whatever to check for magic. That you There's could do. No magic here. Um, all you see are these toe tags kind of dangling down. They've turned a little brownish from the smoke itself, but they're all fairly uh, and clearly legible. Um, you continue searching uh, and you find oh my goodness you find the other priest of Fet, the priestess of Fet that you had met on the slopes of the volcano you know however many days ago less than a week ago I'm it was like two days ago yeah it's been a very friggin long day it hasn't uh it's been more than that it's been three or four days four days i think um yeah because that was our first day in farzine that was your first day in far well yeah in farzine you've had some time between now and then to uh you've had downtime since then so you've had a day or two um in town where bodies Jeez. people were being treated uh, this one is also sacrifice. Um, at the date on it, puts it at um, two days ago. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of people dying really fast. So much for that. So much for that treaty. Uh, sacrifice as well, if I remember correctly. I don't remember if I said that or not. Yeah. Let's see. It was. Kenzu, you found in the first room. This is uh, the priestess Sika. God. Okay. Well, do we need to take any of them back? Can we even take any of them back? I mean, we could probably take their heads. Dad? Yeah, I don't see Bran going along with that. Well, I don't know. I mean... Bran, you're outside with me. Hey, yeah, Bran. He's just silent. His head's a little low. Qu Bran, if do we need, if we wanted to put them to rest, like properly, would we need the whole body, or could just like it sounds terrible? Would the head be sufficient? We would need the whole body. The whole body. Well, there's no use to bring. One or two. This is a task for all of them. The souls trapped here, the souls mingling about here, have probably gone insane. Their unrestful spirits will most likely haunt, rise, or cause chaotic nature to this place. Only vengeance and justice will probably abate them. That uh, or message. some form of absolution. For those who wish to help Bran, make an intelligence check. I'll make one, but I think uh, we need to go find the fighting. Can't do anything with this now. Oh, that's a good roll. Let's see. 18 plus wow. 19. A disadvantage? Oh, well, wait, this is a, wait, oh, it's an ability check. Check. All right, nope, that's a, no. Okay. 
Uh, and Bran, you yeah, can it make is this intelligence right. check as well. In fact, I would expect you to probably... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So we'll a six fair. total. Six Ugh. total. Nope. Okay. Wow. I'm not in the best frame of mind. <laughs> I, I know Merrick doesn't have disadvantage. But that's a, only if you want to help. Sure. Yeah. You can be artless. Well, I mean, my only, job, my only goal is to get the job done. Sure. Yeah, we need to. Technically, the job is him. now done. Yeah, Joe said yeah. we found him. But there is that fighting in the other room that we probably should go check on. And what do we do with the golem? I don't think letting that out to the uh, outside world is a good idea. And. Riley proceeds to chuck a body down the lava tube. Oh, do you know what? It's lava good. at I the bottom of I'm it. I'm exhausted! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Well, actually, that is a point. If you... Does, does brand... What about cremation? Cremation? Yeah, let's ask after the fact. <laughs> Wait, does this brand notice that Riley did that? Whoops. <laughs> As a reminder from last time when we talked about you actually finding these people awake alive in these mummified bodies. Oh yeah, they are the alive, aren't was, they? The, Not all was of them. Destruction able to um to kill them and the answer was entire body destruction. In that the would way do of it. Cremation. <gasps> that would put them to rest. The yeah. body would that into work? The lava would cremate the body quite completely and thoroughly. And if anyone had made their intelligence, oh, son of a bitch. they would have made that connection. Riley, Riley did give it. yourself an inspiration. Shits and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait. So Brand, I like it. I'd say I noticed. Like, Brand, does that work? If you cremate them, no. it's not too late now. I, yeah, but we can, so. no, but we can stop them from doing any more. Friggin', if that doesn't, if that doesn't satisfy you, but if cremating works, we could just we have a way to deal with the. Do whatever you all want. It matters not. Sure, it does. Why does no. it matter? Why? Of course, it matters. Well, now I chuck the second body down. Stop, dude. Wait, we have other There's things we need to do. There's a flare of light in the hole as the body reaches the bottom. <laughs> Didn't they say sacrifice on the tags? I just want to see what would happen. I think, don't we have something else we need to do? Uh, yeah, like the golem rampaging out there? Yes. So why don't we leave this for now? I don't know. Let's I was go. just following you guys. I want to I want to go Deal with the golem. Okay. If that's okay with everybody else. Yeah, I, I tested twice and nothing happened, so I'm I'm done. I searched. I'm trying to figure out if this is a good solution, though. Buy everyone else trapped in your bodies, I guess. No, is well, that what we'll, we're saying? or No, we're going to return to this. We've got to. We can't just leave them here. Okay. But we need to deal with whatever's going on up the hall. Okay, I'm I'm fine with whatever. Really, I'm taking. I mean, I'm I'm trying to take a little control of this party. <laughs> Come on, I, are you coming, Brian? She goes see what our new friend is doing. <laughs> there goes number three. Um, stopped. Brian will get up and go. All right. So we go where the noise was. Yeah. But isn't apparently anymore. Go down more steps. And in this room, the murals are the freshest. Along the walls, you see an island 
Merrick, it's not Farzine. You know this island fairly well after these years. A different island. And, God dang it. <laughs> uh, a different island. Um, do you see sacrifices being made to this island? And in the next... Something ascend from this volcano on the island. People running, fleeing, and tidal waves crashing in to drown this island. From last time, this is very similar to the story of the island of Mu, that they had crossed some dark powers. And so the gods sank the island into the water. Uh, this would be Atlantis, uh, uh, kind of in comparison. What it shows as you were to get further down into the room is this creature that had ascended. Now this appears to go back into the volcano and travels along this path and it reaches the bottom of Farzine. This you can identify, Merrick. The battle you heard, uh, Carol, yep. Ad Dread. What? Add dread. Right Why? Now. What do? Oh, blood, right? As two cultists are crushed into the earth, a third one is suspended on the wall with this purple webbing that is smoking and searing the flesh of this cultist. The third one, no blood, but its head is twisted completely in a circle with its body facing the wrong way. A face of shock, screaming horror, stares up from it. I would like that dread save throw now, Carol. That's going to make it because that's 17 on the die. That's wisdom, right? 19. 19. You do not gain any more dread, but you still have the one level. <coughs> and you see the golem attempt to continue on down the path as there is a larger door um, at the end of the hallway. I need to check one other thing here before I forget. Actually, you know what? That is where we will end off. Yep. A massacre and a golem on the loose. Guys, this has been uh, Cred, the campaign. You can follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. Uh, we'll be back two weeks from now, but if you get itching to play a game, a one-shot next week, we will have a game the following Saturday, a one-shot that you are capable of joining. Just hit us up on Twitter or at or at mhoboinc at gmail.com uh, Buy our cool merchandise. It's the softest sweaters, softest shirts you'll wear for a while, and they wash, and they wash good. Um, or if you are tired of looking at our faces, you just want to hear the pure descriptive power of one <coughs> amazing GM, me, go to podbean.com. Thanks again, our wonderful sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, Adventure Sense, Odd Fish Games, and their wonderful products. Uh, Adventure Sense, uh, Shine Project, How to RPG with Your Cat, uh, and many others, and hopefully many more to come after that. Uh, again, this Monday, the tickets, the badges for the Murder Hobo Convention will go on sale. 
for the 12th and the 13th. 15 Woo! events for you to sign up for. Uh, you'll have plenty to do those two days. Um, other than that, make sure to watch. I believe we have Calamity this Saturday. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the second best campaign. Shake up here pretty soon. I'm excited to see that. Other than that, guys, wave at the camera, say good night, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens to your characters next time. I'm so Thanks. fucked. <laughs>